<laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I really don't. <laughs> okay, I would have taken this off, but I'm not going to just so I don't poke her accidentally. Find, find that vein again. Oh, right there, lovely. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to rest the bevel on the skin for a couple of seconds. And that way, she gets used to touch, so she's mm, not perceiving it's not touching. not a, sh a shock right. or a and then startle. you want to use your, your hands, your fingers like this, above and below, to make the skin taut. Not on the vein, but just right here, so that there's really? less drag. It's Yeah, because the drag is what See, hurts. Lot, we, because of puncture chances with the finger above. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. If, this works for me. <laughs> yeah, this no, is what I was saying, taught. I just, like, I get everything in my head, like, mm -hmm. how I'm going to be tested. But it has to be near, it. it has to be beside it, not on it, because if you put it on it, then you're going to, you know, it. occlude the flow of the vein, mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that. So, and I'm, actually, I'm going to let you go here real quickly, but I'm going to do the puncture. You go in at about a 15-degree angle. You'll feel it. Push this on. You should see a flash of blood in there. You just hold it and let it fill. And when then fills, the switching is the you tricky do the switch, part. Yep. Put it back on, and when the second or the last tube is almost full, Don't push down until you pull the needle out, because it'll hurt. Mm 